All right, so uh, we are talking about electrolytic cells these days. Uh, electrolytic cell is uh, a cell that uses external energy. No, see. Electrochemical cell. Electrochemical cell that uses uh, external energy. to drive non-spontaneous processes. Okay. All right, so let's talk about a spontaneous uh, redox reaction first. All right, so the first uh, redox reaction we talked about was the oxidation of zinc by uh, copper. So we had zinc in one half cell losing two electrons. I want to warn you if you want if you're drawing this just as I am, I'm going to erase some and rewrite it, draw it. So, full disclosure. All right. Over on the other side, on the other half cell, what do we have? Copper. Gaining those two electrons. So that's my reduction reaction. Remember this one? That was exciting, right? And so what do we do? We hook them up to an iPod, if I remember correctly. Right. And we uh, jammed to some tunes, right? What else do we need for electrochemical cell? The salt bridge, yes. Yeah, so we need one more thing, a salt bridge. I'll do that here. That's my salt bridge. Okay, so when you're using this battery, uh, the uh, electrons are going to spontaneously flow from the zinc to the copper plus two. And in the meantime, you can use them. And that's why, why batteries are so useful. You can use that electricity generated from the spontaneous uh, redox reaction. But what happens eventually to all of our batteries? They die, okay? They reach equilibrium, better yet. Okay. And just like uh, we talked about yesterday, uh, with the lithium ion battery, you can hook it up to uh, some type of energy source and put those electrons back. And that's exactly what you can do with any type of rechargeable battery. So we unplug our iPod. All right, electrons stop flowing. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to hook up our copper, which was, what was it? It was our cathode, right? Yeah. All right, so you're gonna hook up your cathode to the negative terminal of a battery or power supply or the wall. Right. And that is going to cause electrons Oops, excuse me. You need to connect it to the positive. You want to pull those electrons back out of copper. Okay? So instead of copper being reduced when it's recharging, it's going to be oxidized.
So now it's not my cathode, it's my anode. And zinc, maybe zinc lost all of its electrons, and we want to put them back, so we're going to connect the negative end of the power supply, the battery, to the zinc. And we're going to put those electrons back. And it was my anode where the oxidation was occurring, but now it's getting those electrons back. So now the opposite is going to happen. Zinc is going to gain. those electrons. And if you do that long enough, you recharge your battery by putting all the electrons back to the, um, what will be the oxidation half cell when you start using it again. Just like a lithium ion battery, rechargeable batteries, uh, one very important uh, use of electrolytic cells.